CompTIA A Plus Core 1, 220-1101, Practice Exam. Questions 131 through 135. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 131. A technician is tasked with adding an economical storage solution to a rack mount server. Which of the following drives best meets these requirements? The answer is C, 15,000 RPM HDB. A 15,000 RPM HDB is a cost-effective choice for a rack mount server because it offers higher performance at a lower price point compared to solid-state drives. While SSD provides superior speed and efficiency, their higher cost can be a limiting factor, especially with large capacities. The 15,000 HDB strike a balance offering improved performance over standard HDB without the premium cost of SSD, making them a suitable choice for budget-conscious yet performance-oriented server setups. Question 132. A technician recently updated the firmware on a company's laser printers. Immediately after, users begin reporting that printed documents are outputting garbled characters. What is the most likely cause of the issue? The answer is D. The print server requires updated print drivers. When a firmware update on printers leads to garbled characters on the printouts, the most likely cause is a mismatch between the new firmware and the existing printer drivers. Firmware updates can often change how a printer interprets data. If the printer drivers are not updated to match the new firmware, they may not communicate effectively with the printer resulting in incorrect or garbled outputs. Question 133. A user reports to the help desk that their smartphone requires more than 24 hours to charge completely, even after trying different outlets and charging cables. What should be the technician's first step in troubleshooting the issue? The answer is A. Check the power rating of the charger. Checking the power rating of the charger is the first step in troubleshooting the smartphone's slow charging issue because the charger's output directly affects charging speed. If the charger's power rating is too low for the smartphone, it won't deliver sufficient current to charge the device efficiently, resulting in prolonged charging times. Question 134. A user attempts to install an application on a desktop, but the install fails. Upon investigation, a technician notices the installation files differ from those on another user's computer. What is the next action the technician should take? The answer is D. Determine the source of the installation files. Discrepancies in the installation files could indicate that the user downloaded the application from an unreliable or incorrect source. This could lead to installation failure or even introduce potentially harmful software. Verifying the origin of the files ensures they are from a legitimate, trusted source and match the version and integrity of the files used in successful installations. This step is essential for both resolving the installation issue and maintaining the security and integrity of the user system. Question 135. A technician is troubleshooting a workstation that will not boot. The technician initially suspects a memory failure, but runs a diagnostic test, which confirms the memory is fully functional. What should be the technician's next course of action? The answer is C. Consider another theory of probable cause. When a technician rules out memory failure as the cause of a workstation not booting, the next logical step is to consider alternative causes. The process of elimination is key in technical troubleshoot. Since the memory has been tested and found to be functional, 
The issue likely lies elsewhere, such as with the motherboard, power supply processor, or even software and operating system problems. The technician should systematically test these alternative theories until the exact source of the boot issue is found. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.